Yo, what's up squad? Today's episode is going to be another 90 day fiasco series. If you enjoy the content, hit that subscribe button slash notification bell to join Sauce Squad and start receiving weekly bangers. No more talking, roll the clip. I just landed in Nigeria and I'm about to meet Michael for the first time. Michael and I met it online. Eventually we fell in love, but we've never met each other. People think he's scamming me because I'm 52, he's 30. But I know he's in my heart and I know he's the one. Okay, okay, so this is my approach on whether young Michael Angelo is a Nigerian scammer or not. If I was 30 years old, a young prime lion, would I date someone in their 50s who kind of looks like my president if he decided to pull a Kris Jenner? No, let's be real, let's be honest, that boy a Nigerian scam is straight up, don't even play. You know, I put so much money in it, so much time, so much heart, I'm ready to go see if it's gonna make it. See, there's nothing wrong with trying to find some love, but if I was 52 and someone told me I had to go to Nigeria just to see if someone loves me, ah, screw that, bro. I'm 52, I'm way past a foot in the grave. Two middle fingers up, lemonade on deck, I'm waiting for that government paycheck. If Angela looks older or less attractive than I thought, I will be kind of disappointed. And this is why the whole long term with just pictures doesn't work. Too many Snapchat filters, too many Photoshop pros, too many trigonometry professors trying to find the right angle. So let's be honest, rarely does someone look better than they do on pictures. So for your sake, Mr. Android 19, you might be in for a big surprise. Is, is, is that Angela? Oh, no, no, it can't be. No, that's not. Oh, 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 shit. Oh, oh, God, I, I guess it is. Oh, fuck, fuck. Jesus. When I first saw Michael, I couldn't hold myself back, you know? I just had to run to him because that's my sex in Nigerian, baby. <laughs> Look at the boy's face. Michael's that kid that wakes up from Christmas after months of asking for a PlayStation, and as the GIF unravels itself, he discovers a system never played by men before him. PlayStation. I mean, at this point, disappointment is an understatement, but you still gotta fake that smile like you appreciate the gift. A stature is kind of bigger than I expected, and she looks older than the pictures. Well, I mean, I'm happy, you know? I'm overwhelmed. See, I don't know whether TLC give these boys lines, but I swear this man sounds exactly like as when he first met Nicole. When I see all, all her, I mean, all her body, I was surprised in that that she's big a little bit. I know pics don't do reality justice, but brother, you knew she was 52. Unless she has Korean magic makeup, she's gonna look like a shriveled raisin. And that's not against old people, it's just aging. <laughs> Am I what you thought? I'm just loud, <laughs> He offered to go to his mom's, but her being a Christian woman like I know she is, I would feel very uncomfortable. You know, I want to unpack, I want to unwind, I want to take a shower, and who knows what else. <laughs> I'm too honest. Oh lordy, um, let's let's just all have a silent prayer for young Michelangelo as, as he journeys his way to America, and I, I believe this to be a more difficult route than Columbus took in 1492. Mm. Stop! Stop! <laughs> She's overwhelming. She has so much energy, like man, like a man. Like a man is totally the opposite of how you want your woman to be, unless you go both ways. Just saying. I got some surprises for you. Oh, really? Yeah. Bruh. Donald Trump. Angela, Halloween's not for another two weeks. Please take that hat off. If I was Michael and I woke up from a nap and she was wearing that hat walking around, I'm gonna be shook. Mr. President, what the fuck are you doing in my bedroom? I'm gonna take your pants off. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> you said take 12. Let's okay. get these clothes on like this. I know, I know, you must be tired. The only oh, problem oh, I got oh, is you're still dressed, Michael. <laughs> Bruh. If I was Michael, I, I just I just put it in, just sing the Star Spangled Banner, just put it in, sing the Star Spangled. Oh, can you see You're a beast, Michael. Woo! <laughs> 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 last night, Michael was uh, it was awesome. <laughs> 
Oh lordy, my brother young Michael Angelo clearly deserves that US citizenship for that. Hell, give this boy France, Germany, and Canada too. Besides the route that Muhammad Jabari took, I can't see a harder route. Today, I wanted to relax at the hotel, but Michael's taking me to the market today because we have talked in the past about him wanting me to wear African attire. Yo, just look at the, the prints, it's beautiful. Explain that. Uh, and it's not how much you but I'm self-conscious about my wage. And Don't like, wag it. Okay. You know, it looks embarrassing okay. to her because she's fat. Okay. Damn! I'm not fat. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't mean it. Don't, don't break mine, okay? Please. You're self-conscious about my weight. I got you. And then you say, yeah, you got me? Oh, I can't tell. To be honest, I think her slapping him in public was way more disrespectful than him calling her fat. Let's lay out the facts. She's on the heavier side of the scale. That's a fact. You guys met less than 24 hours ago. That's a fact. He's Nigerian. He's not going to know the conservative American's culture issue regarding image. That's a fact. You would think someone who is 52 would have the logical and rational wisdom to understand that. But nah. Michael's turned out to be someone different than I thought he was. I went through his phone the other day. I found Instagram. Now he's got a thousand and something girls on that. You have all those women on there unless he's talking to them, scamming them to go over here too. Wait a minute, aren't you the same daughter that was allegedly accused of multiple counts of child molestation? But hey, what do I know? I'm just sipping on the sauce. Michael, do you remember the other night and your friends were there and, and was talking about the picture on the phone? See Michael? Gotcha, bitch. Phone, now by no means am I trying to defend young Michael Angelo, but come on lady, this man has slept with you, he introduced you to his mother, he introduced you to his boys, he wanted to buy you that dainty Nigerian fit, and you're worried about a wallpaper? Get your act together Angelo, you're 52 and you over here acting like a high school brat. Oh my god, if you're not his background, it's probably not real girl. It's stuff like that that bothers me, like you say things to please me at the time, but you really don't mean it sincerely. So for the longer portion of this trip, they continue to continuously fight about random stuff that is rooted back to her insecurities and trust issues. So heed my advice ladies, do not look for happiness in a man when you're unable to be secured and happy just being you. And most definitely do not propose to that man which is the opposite of what this lady did. What's this? That's the American flag Michael, it means you're going to America. Donald Trump, I'm coming to see you. <laughs> Donald Trump is closer than you think, Michael. You didn't even have to come to see him. He came to see you. Did you see how happy this boy looked? That's how excited he should have been when he met Angela at the airport if he really loved her. But, but hey, what do I know? I'm just sipping sauce. I'm leaving today to go back home. But leaving Michael is very, very sad. As far as you can go, baby. Yeah. Yeah. I love you. Oh, call me. Oh, call me. It's okay. Someday I'm gonna be with you. It's okay. Someday I'm gonna be with you. It's okay. That was beautiful. That was magnificent. Someone give this man an Oscar. Young Michelangelo has a future in Hollywood acting. I almost shed a tear. I almost shed as many fake tears as Michael did. TLC played it with that song. They try to hit you in the feels. But not even masterful editing could stop me from seeing straight through your beady little eyes, Michael. I know the truth, but I can't be mad at you. Don't hate the player, hate the game. Yeah? Can you come out here? Okay, okay. What's up, man? Uh, 
Angela called me. She wants to talk to you. Yeah. yeah. Hey, baby. Uh, yeah. Bank account's empty. Your bank account is empty. How? I don't know. That's why I'm talking to you, Michael. You're only supposed to withdraw no more than 300, right? Okay. Yes, yes. They're saying we did 300, 300, 300 at that bank. No, no, they, that can't be, that can't be. In Nigeria, using the ATM is a little confusing, so I gave Michael my bank card. At one point, I told Michael to take out 300. My bank statement says Michael took out $900. I just talked to the customer service man, and he went through all transactions. And it happened at the bank, the 300, 300, and 300. I'm freaking out right now. I have no money in my bank. No, 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 no. Why are you telling me no, 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 and the people are telling me it's got one dollar in it? Wait, wait, hold on. What What are you trying to say? You, you, you think I, I... I stole your money or what? Did you or did you not withdraw $300 three times? Why would I take your money? Where is the Angela, listen to me. I'm over here for it now. No gas money, no way to pay my bills. Angela. Let us investigate this. You don't want my f hell. That's what you f Okay, now let me start off by saying how the hell did Angela expect to financially support all these visas, documents, and excess costs that it was going to take to get Michael approved to come to America if she only had 900 bucks in the bank? If you're in your 50s and your bank account is less than 4 digits, you should not be flying across the world, renting hotels, and taking resort trips in the name of love. Now all jokes aside, whether Michael stole the money or not has yet to be seen. Logically approaching the issue I would lean towards it being a bank error and I'll tell you why. Michael knows he's on live TV for the world to see, his acting is good no doubt but he genuinely seemed excited at the opportunity of coming to America. If he truly wanted to scam Angela solely for money there would be no reason for the introduction to his mother where he lived or who he hangs out with. Would Michael risk the opportunity to have a greater future and earning potential all for a couple hundred bucks? I don't know but I doubt it. On the other side the way Angela dealt with the problem is a huge red flag. She doesn't use logic. She doesn't use reasoning. She jumps on him way before any evidence has been presented or provided. She has to learn to control her emotions and calmly assess the situation before accusing her recently engaged fiance about stealing her money. It shows deep down how she truly feels about him as a person. Do I believe Angela could change her ways at this age? I doubt it. Leave your thoughts down below on whether you believe Michael stole the money or Michael is innocent. I also want to announce that as soon as next week, I'll be having a change in Avatar. Supreme shout out to Sabina Collins for having this done for me. I'll leave a link down below to her IG if you want to check out her artwork. Are you ready to see it? One, two, Most of this information has already been leaked to my IG followers, so if you want to stay up to date with your boy, don't be shy, hit that follow button. With that being said, hope you guys enjoyed the video, have a great week, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Later. Is this what you expect? Is this shit what you planned? Was this shit how you saw it? I'm just asking, I mean, I just, I just can't understand. I mean, maybe I'm tripping. Okay, maybe I'm tripping. Here, maybe I'm wrong.